Beautiful. Well, it's been six years in the making, but now her album Little Arrows is released today and she's setting out on a tour, but has found time to join us this morning. Please welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Rev Fountain. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Great to have you here, Rev. Thank Love you. your work. Yeah. Love your work. We must say that beautiful video that we were just watching, that was shot by your daughter. I know. Lola is very clever. She made my last video as well. Yes, I'm very lucky. <laughs> and you keep it a family affair too, because your son helped with the artwork. On no, this. I'm just breeding them to be my personal assistants. That right. is my I super love plan. It. Perfect. That sounds really good. Hey, congratulations on the album Two Little Arrows. Thank you. Um, a long time coming. Obviously been a labour of love. Yes, uh, we made it six years ago and it's taken a while for us to get there. Uh, it took a couple of years to sort of complete it. Um, but then my dear friend Sam Preble, who plays on the record, passed away. And so that meant that it took us a lot longer than we expected. Was it difficult to listen to the music after he passed away? Absolutely. Um, well, especially that Sam suicided, so it was unexpected. And uh, it took us a while to be able to re-engage with it. But mm. really, ultimately, the, the best way to heal through something like that is to engage with the person that you love. And for us, we have this great memory of him, you know, which is what we love doing together is playing mm. music. Yeah, Pretty a, exciting. A great you. tribute, I guess. Yeah. So in terms of the music style and the songs that you're writing about, I guess a lot of it is based on personal experience. Oh, absolutely. I mean, often that's the way with singer-songwriters, right? We're, we're deeply engrossed in our own lives. But for me, this one was quite different because I really re-engaged with my sort of familial history and um, started off writing it at my grandmother's house in Vancouver in the musical den, which is um, kind of a, a lovely place with a couple of pianos and full of trinkets. And, and um, yeah, started writing the songs there and then connected with Sam and Dylan particularly and we took these songs and built them and arranged them for the album. Are you from Vancouver? I was originally born in San Francisco, but yeah, my family are Vancouver and kind of the west coast of the states. So, but I gr grew up in Christchurch. So, so I, look, I know musicians hate this question, but if you had to explain to somebody who had never met you before the type of sound that you make, how would you describe that, it? Thanks for asking the most impossible question. <laughs> yeah, to I, know, I, I know. That was just <laughs> before. No, no pressure. Um, <laughs> I, I think that it's um, there's definitely an element of folk with it, folk kind of gypsy, and that's the kind of music I've been playing in the Eastern for the last five years. So the kind of music that I've been writing as well. But there's also a sort of indie pop uh, rock with it because I. You know, grew up on great um, Sinead O'Connor and PJ wow. Harvey as well. So there's those kind of elements in it too. Yeah, you probably come off my Spotify playlist actually because I listen to a lot of that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I always get those lists. Um, who would you say, uh, where else do you draw your inspiration from? Um, well, uh, actually, to be honest, a lot from my community here in New Zealand. I have such a um, plethora of amazing musicians that are friends, and so they're super inspiring. I ha um, the Eastern has been an incredible inspiration to me. Hard-working band, Adam McGrath, is such an incredible songwriter, and really taught me how to have a great ethic, work ethic, mm -hmm. ethic when it comes to being a musician. Because you can have all the talent in the world, can't you? But you've got to be able to work hard as well. Yeah, it's a hard slog. It's mm -hmm. not easy. So, yeah, that's helped me kind of get over the ego and insecurity about it, which, of course, I had, and just be able to... To play and um, engage with my audience. So. When do you? When are you most comfortable listening to something like an album you've worked on, six years in the making? You know, is there a moment where you sit back, you put the earphones in, and then you just listen? And what environment is that best suited to for you? It's been really interesting. I mean, sometimes it's like listening to someone else's songs. Wow. Um, but I've been listening to it on vinyl, um, which has been amazing. The vi we've got vinyl and CD for this record, and so I've had a couple of opportunities to just pop it on the. Uh, record player and just sit there and that's all I do is listen and actually I've been listening to it heaps as we've kind of put together the new band for this show which is a big band it's going to be quite epic and I've listened to it a lot and thought about it a lot actually it's really helped me re-engage mm. with it. Oh, I bet, no, there's, a lot of, I bet yeah. there's a lot of tears shed in the making of it. Um, yeah in fact still now often I'll, I'll be listening and all of a sudden there's just flood comes but I think that's what it's important about music it's as long as it's meaningful you know. And you embrace that I reckon. Yeah mm. and absolutely. And it's beautiful I mean I heard you guys practicing before yeah. Finn, your, your trumpetist. Yeah, beautiful. very lucky to yeah. have a super band for this show. Oh. And Finn, who's going to play trumpet with us. Wow, can't wait fun. to hear that soon. Yes, yeah. really okay, looking cool. forward to that. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us today. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, now we'll let you head off, actually, and get yes. ready for your performance. Uh, Rev Fountain's album, Little Arrows, is out right now. And for details on her tour, you can go to her website, revfountain.co.nz. On vinyl also, which is cool. <laughs> Walking down this railroad track, I got tears in my eyes. 
try to read a letter from my heart if this train runs right i'll be home by more night cause i'm 500 miles from my home and i hate to hear that lonesomeness Well, this train I'm riding on, it's a hundred coaches long. Hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. If this train runs me right, I'll be home by the motor night. Cause I'm 500 miles from my home. And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle. Well, I'll pawn you my watch and I'll pawn you my chain. Pawn you my golden diamond ring. If this train runs me right, I'll be home by the motor Cause I'm 500 miles from my home. 